Oh, what's this? I think my cousin left her laptop. Wow, this is kind of cool. You can make 3D stuff, like in pixels. Let me see how it works. So, wow, super cool. I hope I have, I have like this, on my phone. Hmm. Let me see. What is this? Magica voxel. Let's search that. Wow, this is so cool! I gotta find out a way to put this on a cell phone. I need to find a apps. I need to find a apps! weird hey guys this is Mosen Len so yeah guys so I am back again for another video for another tutorial so I hope you like that um kind of weird boring intro yeah so yeah guys I'm, I'm sorry again again and again and again because I didn't upload it on last week because it's my you know ex fuck school fuck all this bullshit what the fuck Hey yeah, guys, um, so I just uh, tried to find a apps for that Magica voxel. So here it is. It's in the screen right now. So I hope it's kind of cool. So I already tried it uh, once, I think. Yes, I want, uh, I think, five times to try to practice it. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And uh, don't forget to like that. Um, click that like button and also to subscribe for more. And yeah guys, I will show you guys how this works. Not all because you know it will take too much of a time, but I will show you some basics. So we were going to try to make a tree, guys. So what you are going to do is just click in the link in the description down below because this app is I think two dollars. And if you want to um get it free, it's in the link in the description, guys. You know how it works now. So now guys, as you can see in here, you can make the screen like that. You can rotate it using, select that. You can rotate it using two hands. And then you can just click in here. As you can see, you it will like camera move mode. And then you can move it. Then this one, camera center on the cursor. It means where this thing um, selected is, it will center there. So let's just switch in the rotated mode so you can rotate it. And now, what you're going to do is just click in here for the colors. If you want to add a color in here, you can add a new color, edit the color, delete the colors, and more. You can also export a palette. I didn't um, try that already. I didn't still try that, so maybe next time. And just let's go back, and then you can just um, pick in here. And also, if you want to move this, you can move it like that. Or, as you can see, you can just make it like that, and boom! You have a 3D pixelated uh, thing right now, you, if you want to pick. So, if you want to select it, like just like this, and then just select it like that. Just if you want to cut it, as you can see, it already cut. And then, if you want to paste it, I think this is the one, yeah? If you want to rotate it like that, and then put it like that in here and if you want to just exit X and if you want to draw again just go in there draw mode and then if you want to paint it guys just go in here and then se select some color in here or maybe let's just try to edit one like this let's make it green and then let's paint it like that guys so it's up to you so I think that's already okay if you want to fill it like um let's go back if you want to fill it like that guys if you want to get the color of it yes this one and then it will get the like you know how works the picker 
pick your color right so that's it and then in here is the light direction if you want to rotate it and if you want to move it upside down or rotate it as you can see where the light will direct on your um, 3d model so and then let's try to um i think make a tree so let's go in here camera mode move camera move and go in rotate like that i think i will just make this as the i will switch into draw mode i will just use this as the i think um uh the in um I think I will just use this as the uh, base of our, um, you know, the tree. So let's just make a green co a black, a brown color in here. I think that's already okay. That brown color. And also, guys, I have a trick for you. Y you can go in here and also make that uh, click that two times model. It will make the your um, model smaller, like the box thing. Just click continue and as you can see when we move in here as you can see there it already um smaller from the other one like uh a while ago so it's much better so you can kind of put some details on it more details just like that i'm not good at this because i'm still new on it and also just practice a lot guys if you want to you know master it <laughs> I think this is not a tree. So let's try to make a lips in here. Oops. I will just make it this color. Wait. It's not that good for a tree, I know, but you know I'm I'm still new on it. I just tried to uh, manipulate it at a la a bit. So that's the tree, guys. So one thing that I want to share you, you can just you know save your model, and also you can load a model like the previous one that you made, and also in here just plenty of um uh option, and also in here is also the some option for the lighting and also the for the render of it i didn't um try to manipulate this also i just tried to manipulate the background color if you want to add a background color of it you want to uh, just put it there so i i will just make it like this as you can see it adds that background color so now we're just going to render it and just let's go in here light direction and I want to place it, oops, not that one. I want to rotate it just like that, hold it. I want to rotate it from there, from there into here. And also just a bit, you can put it down and also up. I just kind of like that one. And if you want to render it out now, just go in here on the camera setting. You can um, manipulate also the option in here. Just um, um, be sure to, you know, you know what you're doing. 
but you can you know manipulate it just I'm I'm just using the presets in here and also I'm just going to try the um, high quality right now you can make the shadow softness like I don't think I'm going to make it 55 just like that you can change the resolution but just I recommend just leave it right there and just let's wait for the render to be finished I think the render is now done so just go and ex click the export render it's up to you if you want to include the background color or you want to put a transparent background so I think I will just use the um, transparent background so I am going to use pixel lab to um, save it I will also link, put the link in the description down below so just click just once here so just so it go it will go in here so just resize that put it like that with the check mark button go in here and just save as image and just leave it like that save to gallery but you can also so guys we already saved our um model so i just forgot to say you guys to, to say to you guys that you can also put um put the uh, angle of the camera before you render it, um, uh, I will just put it right here. Right there, for example, and just go and click this one, change the presets. I will just put it in a quick pre preview and just go and render it. So that is it, guys. So I will make a part two of this tutorial where you can manipulate it to make it more beautiful using photoshop touch so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys like this tutorial and also this um app so i i know if i'm going to make a speeder of it or another tutorial just let me know in the comment section down below so yeah guys i think that's it i hope you guys enjoy and i hope you guys learn something from this tutorial so i will guys see you on the next video so don't forget to click that like button and subscribe button for me and yeah guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace and bye!